greed finally beating back fear on Wall Street. Joining us are John Dorfman, portfolio manager of the Dorfman Value Fund and Bill Sparopoulos, CEO of Core State's Capital Advisors. Guys, good to see you this morning. Good morning. Nice to be with you. John, the market is up about 150 points. Wells Fargo obviously providing the big pop. Are you ready to get on board with the financials now? Well, not so much with the financials. There, there are other groups I like better, such as pharmaceutical and tech. But we certainly have financial representation. We're about market weight there. But does the news out of Wells Fargo today cause you to change any of your thoughts regarding the financials? You feel more positive uh, about that group? Um, well, I, I was not as negative as some other folks before. But when a group is a big market leader, like technology uh, in the 1990s or energy in the 1970s and it gets up to about 30 percent of the S&P as financials did and then it falls out of favor it usually takes at least a couple years to climb back so um, I certainly want financial representation but I'm not planning to pile into the sector yeah Bill what kind of legs does this move have large legs my friend the uh, battle for 8,000 continues <laughs> and you know what if you have a um, a mindset that's uh, opportunistic and you can look past the next five minutes, um, there's going to be hellacious wealth created here for those that have the ability to say, buy. Hellacious. Hellacious. And you yes, mean indeed. in stocks, Bill? <laughs> well, stocks is a target-rich environment, absolutely. But so is energy and so is the currency space and so is managed futures. And uh, I think that is the, uh, the key to uh, success, a uh, well-diversified uh, multi-strategy campaign where you don't get bit by the bear because he can't eat everything all at once, Kenny. Uh, th that's true, John, but the only worry I have is if we get the 10% per year annual return we're used to, it takes 10 years to get back to where we were in October of 07, and just when Bill makes me feel excited, I get all defeated again. <laughs> <laughs> Be patient. Now, look, the choices are you have a five-year treasury at 1.9%. And if you could buy something like Bank of America or Wells, take your pick. In the next five years, you'll make far more than that. Bill, what and kind it of, won't be 10% a year. What kind of allocation are you, are you recommending right now? Well, I think for most folks, we uh, like the idea of having 45% in equity. And that's not because we're bearish. We're actually very bullish, especially for the long term. But there's so many opportunities elsewhere. And when you look at the spaces like in currency, where you could be long short the, the G10 majors, there, were, there was a lot of money made in the last two years. And the correlation between currency and equity is marginal. It's 4%. And the only way you keep your, your uh, asset base in the black is by having vastly dissimilar assets. That's the magic. But do not misconstrue our 45% weight in equity as being timid, because we're not. John, when you look at the kind of rally we have, and, and just looking in your notes, you say that the kind of rally that we've seen after the downdraft we saw usually lasts a year. Do you think that's going to be the case? I do. I think it's going to be very choppy day to day, week to week, and month to month. But I think the trend for the next nine months will be to the upside and um, it, you know it's going to take some courage sometimes to stay in there but I, I do think we have at least a strong bear market rally and maybe something more. Not without some chop obviously mixed in there. Sure. Yeah. John, Bill, thanks to both of you. We appreciate it. Not timid. Men with courage know. when it comes to stocks. All right, next, uh, the interview we have been waiting for, our interview with Wells Fargo Chief Financial Officer.